DaVinci Resolve for noobs. If you're working on a project in DaVinci Resolve and you run into the dreaded media offline situation, let me explain why that's most likely happening and what you can do to solve it. Whenever you bring a piece of footage into DaVinci Resolve, like this one right here where I change the color of this girl's eye on one side, you're not actually bringing the footage into DaVinci Resolve, you're just telling DaVinci Resolve where it's linked on your computer. Much like when you watch a video on YouTube, it's not actually on your phone, it's on YouTube itself, and if someone removes that video from YouTube, YouTube, you will no longer have access. Now, sometimes these files can get corrupted on your computer and that can cause them not to load properly. And sometimes it can be an issue of you trying to bring in footage that's not supported by the version you're using. For instance, the free version of DaVinci Resolve doesn't support as many file types, containers, and codecs as the studio version does. I've had creators ask me why footage from their iPhone suddenly isn't showing up in DaVinci Resolve, and it's because they recorded in 10-bit instead of 8-bit so that the file type was supported in the free version, but not the color depth. In cases like that, you could just convert that footage into a usable format and then it'll be accessible. But some of the most common reasons you'll find that your footage is offline is simply the fact that DaVinci Resolve can't find it anymore. Now the name of this file that I'm using is I, but if I went to the original source folder and I renamed it something else, the minute I did that, you'll notice the media is offline because the file name has been changed. It's now a different file name and a different file path than DaVinci Resolve remembers when I brought it in. Never change the name of your files or folders after you've imported footage into DaVinci resolve or you'll have to deal with a media offline issue. Another reason is that sometimes the file location gets moved and that could be something as simple as moving it on your computer somewhere else than where it was when you first started your project or sometimes you might be using an external drive somewhere plugged into your laptop or computer and you've either unplugged it and plugged it into a different port or you may have plugged other things in and the drive assignment has changed. Maybe originally it was drive E but then it was unplugged or moved and plugged back in and is now drive F. When you run into any of these situations, what you can do is right click on that footage in the media pool and go down to relink selected clips. If you know where that clip is, find exactly the file or containing folder for that asset and then you can relink it and bring it back in. But if I could not remember the original name and I didn't know where the original file was, but I had a copy of it somewhere else, what I could do is right click on that and go down to replace this selected clip and choose the same file or even an additional file for it to reference and and now it will open that file back up. One easy way to avoid having media offline problems when you have a project open that is running the way you want it to is go down to the lower right where this house icon is and click on that. It'll open up your project manager. Now select the project you're currently on, right click on it and go down to export project archive. It will save the entire project and save the files used in that project altogether. 